A couple of Fort Drum soldiers are finding success in the boxing ring. Here's Mel Bussler. Hey, we get into the ring with a couple of talented boxers. It's a tale of two boxers. First off, Anthony Parker of Honolulu, Hawaii, who's been stationed at Fort Drum for two years. He competed at the Battle of the Badges event in early March. Uh, yeah, for sure, man. It was some, uh, some nervous tension going in there because, uh, like you said, it's been a while since I stepped in the ring, but I was confident in my skill set. And just the overall environment, it made me feel good. So by the time I stepped into the ring, like my anxiety and stuff was gone and it was just another day in the ring for me. Uh, my opponent was uh, fairly skilled, but I just felt like uh, I had enough tools in my tool bag to uh, dispatch him. And it was a great fight. Parker, no stranger to the sport of boxing. So I've been boxing for about, since I was about eight, but my uh, background is Taekwondo. So uh, to me, it easily transfers over into boxing. I also dibbled and dabbled in like uh, mixed, mixed martial arts, kickboxing and Taekwondo as well, and uh, Muay Thai. But I've been fighting since I was a kid. Parker connected with the Watertown Boxing Club as soon as he got to Fort Drum. So as soon as I got to Fort Drum, that was the first thing on my mind, find something, whether it was kickboxing or boxing. So I looked up Johnny Pep, and then I went into his gym one day, and I felt the at-home environment. There was no, anim no animosity there, no egos. And uh, I'm all about a family-oriented uh, gym where there's no animosity, and it feels great, and Pep's gym was the best place to do that. Alonzo Pelafox competed in the Golden Gloves in Buffalo at 132 pounds and won the title. Not bad for a boxer in just his second sanctioned bout. Yeah, I was, I was pretty nervous. Uh, I had Coach Johnny Pep to kind of like keep me under control and relax. Uh, it was just a lot of nerves, something new that I'd never been in. But it was a good experience. Once I'm in the ring, it goes away. He wasn't surprised at the outcome. He felt confident. No, I was ready. We've been training for, uh, we were training for that fight since almost like October. So I was ready when, when I was in there. Um, they stopped the fight second round because he felt like throwing up, so I was ready for the third round. Like Anthony Parker, Alonzo Pelafox also seeked out John Pep two years ago. The Watertown Boxing Club head, happy to welcome anyone interested in the sport. Uh, the best way is to seek us out on, uh, you know, just Google uh, Watertown Area Boxing Club or Boxing in Watertown. Uh, the best way, though, is uh, on our Facebook page, Watertown Area Boxing Club, or call 315-783-4980. But like I said, um, these guys are great, and I'm very proud of them and very honored to, to train them. They're good boxers and good people, and they're part of the family, and we're very blessed. The Watertown Boxing Club certainly producing some talented boxers. Well, that's it for now. We'll have the latest from the sports world coming your way on 7 News this evening at 6.